Elon Musk had an idea. What if we integrate the human brain with artificial intelligence? On one hand, putting a chip in your brain is ABC of zombie invasion. But on the other hand, it could help persons with disabilities achieve mobility or maybe cure diseases like Alzheimer's. So he then created Neuralink with seven other scientists and engineers, and they started with the focus of helping people with diseases. Eventually, the second part of the plan is achieving human enhancement, also known as transhumanism. They raised a collective of 363 million, and out of the eight co-founders that started it all, two only remain. Additionally, they've been widely criticized for animal testing, and they were rejected by the FDA for their request to start human testing in 2022. So while all this is happening, I was wondering whether ChatGPT could help me create a pitch deck of an imaginary company that is very similar to Neuralink. Let's call it Neurocortex. So I started asking questions and this is the pitch deck. All right, so we're starting with Neurocortex, sort of an alternative to Neuralink. And the cover page is a dark themed design similar to Neuralink in a sense. And what I like about starting a pitch deck or the cover of the pitch deck is teasing the reader. And that's why I said neural dexterity at the beginning putting all the information like the date, the place, and so on, and then enhance your physical abilities beyond human limits. This teases the reader of what is going to happen in the future. And then we start off with the second slide, which shows what Neurocortex is using the logo of Neurocortex. Again, this is an imaginary company, but it is written by ChatGPT based on Neuralink. So me and ChatGPT, supposedly, we just started to brainstorm about what Neuralink is all about and how we can create a pitch deck for investors for a similar company. AI powered brain enhancement, enhanced memory, increased focus and better decision making abilities, cutting edge technology that is based on years of R&D. So this is just showcasing what Neurocortex is, is in terms of functionality. So immediately you start. I didn't want to go with, and I'm sure Neuralink also in their original deck, but I couldn't see it. Um, they, I didn't want to go with the orthodox problem solution sort of methodology because it is kind of evolving or evolving the, the brain in general, the human brain and enhancing it is sort of something that is not typical. So you don't want to go with a typical structure in that sense. Moving on, mental fog, forgetfulness and an inability to focus. You could say that this is what the problem is but not saying it as very obvious. Okay, this is the problem, but this is essentially it. So cognitive enhancement techniques such as supplements and brain games have limited effectiveness and are often unreliable. This is again written by ChatGPT, so it was kind of you know interesting that they could come up with something like this or that it could come up with something like this. And then the design, we would just put a pill symbolizing supplements and brain games putting a cloud. So, so far, so good in terms of the problem. You understand what the problem of neurocortex is. And then we go with the solution. Now, this slide I like very much because it has a lot of elements of design and good elements from the content as well of ChatGPT. Now, what ChatGPT said, they didn't do it like this. They just said, or it said, that we're using machine learning and artificial intelligence and we're creating a proprietary platform, etc. So what we, so what I and my team designed is that we started personalized cognitive training. That's the objective. And how you do it is by machine learning and artificial intelligence going into the brain and going using Neurocortex, which is a platform that adapts to users' individual needs and goals. And that's how you achieve personalized uh, cognitive training. And additionally, at the end, you would see that the, with the regular use of Neurocortex, you can expect the improvements in memory, focus, and decision, because it's also a long-term process, isn't it? Moving on, so the business model, per se, and I also always love, in all decks that I do even to clients nowadays, I don't like to say the word business model as a title. I like to say what the business model symbolizes to make it easier for the reader, because usually investors look at lots of, in, lots of investor decks. So make their lives easier and mine as well. Subscription to an AI powered enhancement platform. Users can choose from a range of subscription plans based on their goals and needs. And the fact that the business model is scalable because we're reaching out to all humans. It's not just anyone with like persons with disabilities, but it's also you, the reader. You could just be able to use this enhancement that in any sort of sense and it would make you an evolved human per se. Now, it's a very utopian theory and thought in general of Neuralink because at the end of the day, really, humans are perfect, aren't they? You would think about it. It's, it's a different thought process and there are probably 
very controversial opinions around this matter. I wouldn't personally prefer to put any chip in my brain or enhance myself. I would like to live like this as I am right now. But some people would see that, yes, it's actually good for the human species to start implementing things like that. Moving on, a team of brains, that's me, the CEO, someone CFO, you, the CTO, it's just a placeholder text, and our team consists of experienced neuroscientists, AI experts, and business professionals. And then this is sort of the timeline. You'd say brain wave analysis and real-time cognitive tracking. That's, that's what the whole objective of neurocortex is. So that's the first phase we're starting and we intend to finish it. Neuralink, on the other hand, are starting by fixing or by curing disease and then they're going for human enhancement. So the phase one is brainwave analysis. Second one is partner with academic institution, purely written by ChatGPT in that sense, to further develop and validate our technologies. And finally, with the focus on innovation and growth, we're excited to continue pushing the boundaries of cognitive enhancement, which is what Neuralink is looking forward in the future. And that's it. It's a small pitch deck of a neurocortex per se that just showcases what the product is about and how this market is in a sense that Neuralink, if, if, if this company is real, it's an imaginary company at this stage, but if it were to be launched and Neuralink does enhance over time and expand its market over, over time, then this could actually turn out to be a million or a billion dollar company, who knows? Of course, it will need a very experienced team alongside it to actually make this happen. But overall, this was my thought process in creating a neural link, a neural link sort of pitch deck that is not really for the company. Let me know what you think of this real content template or RCT. Feel free to use it and download it as you please. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and have a fantastic day.